My lovely eyes. I'm very good, you know. I, I almost sound as deep and husky as you. I know. <laughs> with, a, with a name, Terry. I know. <laughs> we could have confusing. a whole new career, couldn't yeah. we? <laughs> Terry uh, Dwyer. Yes. Is it Dwyer? Yes, well, I am. It's lovely to see you. Welcome to Wales. Thank you. I'm loving Swansea. Yeah, are you rehearsing in Swansea at the moment? Yeah, yeah. We're, we're rehearsing actually at the Grand. Oh, but um, I did, the people are just so nice. Mm. I found myself a lovely little gym and mm. a lovely little cafe in the place yes. that I'm staying. Where's your cafe? Which which way you going? Well, it's not far. There's one just under the Grand, so I'm afraid I don't have to travel far. Oh, but yeah, the, right, do you yeah. know the people are just really kind? Yeah, it's a lovely place to go. It is. And, and people find that. And uh, even for, you know, e e people who are unknown because of their television connections, yeah. people tend to leave them alone and just accept yeah. that they're doing what they're doing. And I think it's the kindness yeah. that has really struck mm. me. And, and I came to Swansea for the first time only about six weeks ago. There was another event actually on at the yeah. Grand. And um, so, yeah, I'm loving it. So where's home? Home now is near Chester, weirdly, because yeah. I started my career, obviously, at Hollyoaks. Yeah. And I've ended up living there. I met my now husband two months before I left um, Liverpool, which is where Hollyoaks is filmed. So I, all the time I was in Hollyoaks, I spent my time commuting to London to see all my friends. Met my husband two months before I left and then spent the whole, the next couple of years, commuting back up to Liverpool because I'd moved to London. Fantastic. Such is life. So you're a world girl now. I am. Don't Lovely. you turn your nose no, up. No, I'm not. I, I, we are near North Wales. No, there's nothing wrong with it. You should have seen nothing the snarl on that no, man's face. No, I, I, I used to live in Birkenhead, so I know oh, it really you? well. Yes. Oh, well, you'll know it well I'll live just as the Balls Road becomes the Woodchurch Road. Oh, so. oh isn't Woodchurch Road? Well, the Woodchurch <laughs> Estate is, but no, I didn't live there, dear. Oh, darling, no. Just live outside the, just outside the town's end. Oh, well, I'm, yes, I'm, in, I'm on the wheel. I love it, actually. Yeah, I, it's I, part of the world. I've, done, I've kind of done the London thing, and I think once you start having a family, and, and getting married. I just wanted a different kind of standard. But of life is, is very different now because of, of the internet and emails and the, the travel services. Yes. You, you can get anywhere. Well, to be you? honest, when I lived in London and I, I lived out to East and I was doing loose women at the time and, you know, th very kindly, they'd send a car. Sometimes it would take an hour and 40 Crazy, just right? to get into London. Now, if I get on the train at Runcorn, I can be in uh, at ITV Studios when I do this morning. I can be there within two hours mm. as long as somebody else is paying for the train ticket. <laughs> Because it's astronomical at that time of the day. How are you coping? You're doing a play called Whose Court Is This Jacket? I am, it? yes. And, and that's, that is a Welsh phrase. Whose Court Is This Jacket? Well, and I'm legend. I'll be there now in a minute. Yes. And, and how are you coping with those things? Well, those things are fine because I've lived in, in and out of Liverpool for a very long time and they have their own mm. way of speaking. You know, oh, that's boss, that, which means that's really good. Mm. And So that's fine. The hardest thing is we have four very fluent speaking Welsh people. So they, all of a sudden they burst out into this complete other language. And um, Sarah, who, who, who plays um, Ang Harit, um, she said something the other day, and I went, are you making a noise? And she went, no, 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 this is the Welsh language. Ah. So, um, no, it's great. I'm having a great time. Um, we've got Maxine directing, who plays um, a, 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 a really, uh, it's the character in Stella that's always saying, cock off, I believe. <laughs> I have no off. idea. But she's, she's amazing, and yeah, it's, so, it's so exciting to mm. be in such safe hands. And, and you, you, you play the English woman in, oh. in the play. Aren't you? You're there because you are English. Let that, me that's the whole thing. Let me tell you, I am token English girl. Even in rehearsals, I, I yesterday I said, "Look, you lot are really getting me back, aren't you? Because I, you have played like token Welsh people hmm. in all these productions, and now I'm the English girl." But yes, thank goodness I don't have to do a Welsh accent. So please mm -hmm. don't make me try. It's a funny play. Uh, it, yep. it, it, it's it's not the premiere of the play. It has it, I know Jack's ha had it done before, but not on this scale. No, and actually the play has changed shape somewhat. I think uh, when they first did the play, it was, it was you know, my character was very, very different. And um, as we've got the play on its feet, Jack's rewritten bits, because inevitably with things, when you put it on paper, when people actually start performing it and they're on the feet and we've all got very different energies and it's a really, really strong cast, you know, he's then wanted to improve it. So between him and the director, they've rewritten it and, and it's brilliant and it's very funny. I'm not funny, <laughs> but everyone else is really funny. Is, is, do, you, do you have a stage background? Because, of course, you, you've, you've been involved in television from quite a young age, haven't yeah, you? Yeah, well, Hollyoaks was my first audition and my first job, so, you know, that's unheard of. I've been very, very lucky. And, no, most of my experience is uh, telly, but then I took a break, I guess, from acting because my co presenting career was busy and, you know, I, I, I did um, Loose Swim in 60 Minute Mate and I kind of bounced from jobs, so I never really had time to act. But And my children were very young. The thing is, with acting, you have to be very committed and, mm. and I couldn't commit to it. But the last couple of years, I've had the 
that itch that I couldn't really ignore. So I came back to it last year and I've done a couple of plays now and I did a film last year. I did a film at the beginning of the year and I've just finished one now before I started the play. So I would say I'm probably much more familiar uh, on a on a set, uh, but I really want to sharpen my tools, and the only way to do that is treading the board. So here I am. And, and this is this is very much a Welsh tour, isn't it? It is. Yeah, mm. yeah. I'm I'm gonna yeah really love every minute on it. You get to Colwyn Bay, which isn't that far from. No, I'm going to travel like... home at Colwyn Bay. Yeah. But you know, we've got another week of rehearsals, um, and I, yeah, I know it's early days, and I always really fall in love with everybody. But the cast and the company are really nice, and, and that's very important, particularly on. A comedy as well, yeah. where you, you really do depend upon each other, it, it, not for, for everything really. It's, it, it needs to work as an ensemble piece, doesn't well, it? And, and this is an ensemble piece. It, it is, yeah. There's no star of the show. It's a real team effort. And I think with theatre, they're like your chosen family for that short period of time. So it's intense. You know, you get all these kind of characters thrown together, and mm. if you have one person that doesn't fit in, it does make the experience not that pleasurable. But thankfully, everybody's great. And sometimes we do. We do, yes, as we were talking off air. Yes, yes. You, you get some corkers, don't you? Stay on, like, stay with us. <laughs> yeah. And we'll chat some more after this. Sloggy Robinson and the Miracles then being with you. Terry Dwyer on the show today. I woke up this morning tired. Oh, I was tired when I, the alarm went off this morning. I thought, it's Friday now. What motivation do I have to get out of bed? And I thought, Terry Dwyer's coming in the studio. I leapt out oh, like an Olympic athlete. You know, Kev, you're such a smooth talker. I you did. know, it gets you everywhere. I didn't leapt out of bed. <laughs> did you? Yeah, you're not the first person who said that to me. <laughs> <when I was, laughs> did it work last time? But it was the first time I've ever meant it. <laughs> oh, that's even nice. So you, you, the tour starts in, in Swansea? Yeah, we open uh, in Swansea on the 17th. We're uh, there till the 20th, and then we go off and do Mid Wales. We've yeah. got a couple of dates in Mid Wales. Lovely. And then we come back to Cardiff and close on the 6th. Which, mm. I mean, it's too short. I keep saying to Jack, we really yeah. need to do a longer yeah. tour. But it's, it's it's tough times out there, isn't it? It's, it's at the it's, moment for our business. It is really tough. And, you know, there's a lot of new plays out there, you know, that have been touring that get mm. pulled. I think that we were talking about this. The big hitters, you know, people know if they've only got 20 quid, you know, economic times are hard. They want to be guaranteed a good time, yeah. don't they? But, you know, this play has been out there before if you if you like rugby if you like a laugh it appeals to both men and women it, I think it's a great value for your money fantastic well it's, it's a joy to see you 01792 475 715 the Grand Theatre box office television wise what's next for you well who knows I mean to be honest Kev I'd like to tread the boards for a bit and really sharpen the tools mm. and I mean I'd love to get back into something long running but acting's kind of where the heart is at the yeah, moment well you go for it girl thank you I wish you all the best you've been doing some stuff with Mid Midway of late. I saw you quoted in the paper this week. Yes. Uh, well done for you. Thank you. Support the cause. And uh, if you want tickets for that show at the Grand, uh, whose quote is this jacket? And, and she has no idea what the title is all about. It's, it's <laughs> no, I do. Pretty, I've been... Yeah, a, and, we, and it's all about Harith, is it? Harith? There we are. They've sat down and explained Do you know what it. that means? Do you speak well? Heerith. 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 There we go. I was close. Heerith. I'm English. It's all right. <laughs> you enjoy it, Kenny. It's been lovely to see you. Thank you. And uh, we wish you well. Thank you. 01792 the Grand Theatre Box Office number. 